Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I just wanted to briefly introduce myself to you and I hope that you will say hi to me by posting in the comments below. That will be awesome. I'd love to get to know you. Um, in short, my name is Julie and I'm a published author on a book about Asperger's syndrome, about raising a child with Asperger's syndrome. And if you're not familiar with Asperger's, Asperger's is part of the autism spectrum and some people now refer to it as autism spectrum disorder, but we'll get into that another time in a future video. I'm also going to be talking to you a little bit about sensory processing disorder, which is linked to Asperger's and autism, but again, we'll, we'll do that down the road. Aside from writing about Asperger's syndrome and parenting, I'm also an Etsyan. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it basically means I run an Etsy shop. I run a small arts and crafts business, and I have for several years. And even though I'm winding that down a bit to focus back on my writing, I do have some tips and tricks that I can share with you along the way if you're interested. And I'm hoping to post a video two or two about that down the road. And for those of you who are familiar with my work and the work that my family has done, just thank you so much for your support and for tuning in. And I feel that I owe to you an explanation of why it has been so long since Asperger's in Pink was published and, and today. And I am currently back writing books, and I can get to that in a few moments. But I want to let you know what happened. After Asperger's in Pink was published, and I was starting to do some speaking, and, and the book was gaining, gaining steam, uh, my husband suffered a brain bleed also known as, sub, as a subarachnoid hemorrhage, uh, bleeding on the brain. There's all kinds of, of words for it. Some people call it an aneurysm without the aneurysm. But needless to say, it was pretty serious, and we had to take a pause to help him get back to where he needed to be. And although he's doing amazing, and he really is a success story, I would say it probably took a good three years at least um, to kind of just stop and do what we needed to do to get him back to as close to normal as we can do. And again, he's doing great. But that also means my writing took a pause. And during this time too, our daughter was getting older. She was getting toward the end of high school and she actually went on to college. And we can talk more about that later too. But we had a lot and so we decided it was best to stop, pause, take care of our family. And now that things are going all right, um, I'm excited to say that I am back to writing, um, back to writing books. But this time I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Instead of writing um, what some might consider a creative nonfiction, excuse me, um, the pieces I'm working on are going to be fiction pieces, uh, most of which will center around at least one character who happens to be on the autism spectrum. My personal goal in life has been to produce works that lift people up, uh, showcase strengths, and I think that you will find that in my books. And when those are able to be accessed, I will let you know. The publishing process is slow, but I will definitely keep you up to date. Meanwhile, you can find me here on this channel and let me know what you'd like to talk about. And this office is my home office and where I'm sitting now, and you can't really see my desk, but maybe I'll share it with you later if you like, let me know. Um, is, is the side that I write on and I, I work from home on. And on the other side, back here behind me, is where um, I sew and I, I design products that I put in my in my Etsy shop. And so that's a little bit about me. Um, I live in North Carolina with my family. And other than that, I don't know how exciting can a middle-aged woman be, right? <laughs> okay, well, we'll find out, right? Um, but again, it is wonderful to um, have you tune in. I'm excited to start this channel and I hope that you will find it interesting and entertaining if nothing else because heaven knows it took me so many outtakes just to get to this point. It was crazy. <laughs> In fact, I might even do a video on what not to do when you're trying to film your first YouTube video because yeah, it was, it was, I think it was kind of funny, actually. <laughs> but in short, that's me. I'm Julie. I'm an author. I'm a writer. I'm passionate about um, Asperger's syndrome and accepting people who for who they are in the moment, not for who we wish them to be. And I'm not a fan of putting people in boxes at all. And I hope that you will stick with me and let me know a little bit about you. That will be awesome. Peace all.